Hey, what's up, you guys? Gemini Jets review here, coming at you with a Gemini Jets unboxing video. This time it's with the American Airlines Boeing 767-200, and this model was released in 1400 scale. This model is in the flagship independence um, library, so that's something a little bit different. And this is actually a new release by Gemini Jet, so it does have very nice detail, I have to say, about this model. Um, of course, American Airlines and U.S. Airways are merging, so I th think this completes my American Airlines um, collection. I don't have a lot of American planes, but I'm not going to buy any more American planes because of, because of the merger. So we're going to... Um, take a look at the aircraft. So we will start by the cockpit. Of course, you see their windshield wipers. And um, we have the very nice door detail right to it. Um, we also have the landing gear. Um, 220 is the number on the landing gear. And actually, the landing gear does have very nice detail. I have to say, they do roll. So um, here's the American Airlines title. And we have the red stripe and blue stripe. That's the American Airlines old livery. <laughs> it's weird saying it because. Um, so we have the um, twin um, 767-200 engines. We have the landing gear light. Um, we also have the cargo door. This is the wing section. So at the here's the wing, um, the end of the wing. And right here are the flaps, slats, and spoilers. And we also have the red dot right there. And we have some. And we also, oh, we have the emergency... We have the overwing exits right there. Right there, it says Flagship Independence, because this is in the Flagship Independence Library. It's um, in support of all who serve. So, over here is the other wing of the aircraft. And here's the back section of the aircraft. Why don't we go ahead and take a look at the registration, which is November 320. No, all American Airlines, and we also have the um, American Airlines flagship independence, the stripe right there on the tail, and we also have the American flag up to it, and at the end, at the tail sections, we have the stabilizer and the APU sections, which is fairly detailed, very nice, I have to say. Um, this model is polished, that's why I really like about Gemini Jets with the American Airlines um, planes, they're polished metal, but if you touch them, it does. Here's the undercarriage of the aircraft. We have the front nose gear. We also have the front um, gear door. We also have the um, left cargo door. We have the twin 767 engines. We have the, um, at the middle of the underbelly, we have some diesel markings. And we also have the twin main landing gear trucks, which you, which do roll. We have the Gemini just local stand hole. And we also have some detail markings, and over here is the right cargo door to 767. And we also have the tail sections, um, which includes the stabilizer, APU section, and the tail. So overall, they really did a nice job with the undercarriage. Um, of course, here's the wing section. So, yeah. So here's the front view of the American 767. And here's the back view. So like oh, I earlier, or, um... Overall, this is just a great aircraft. Um, I didn't know Gemini Jets released this because I checked on their releases like uh, re releases a few months ago and they had it. So I was really surprised. Um, I was looking for the old American 767-200, which, which is not in the flagship independence, but I couldn't find it. It was sold out, so I just decided to get this one. But now this completes my American collection, which I said before, I do not have a lot of American planes. And... The reason why is because the merger with the U.S. Airways. You can subscribe, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you stay tuned for more videos.